Those were sweet and funny and playful. Yeah. <laughs> Given that this show is based on a real life tragedy, with people still alive today, were you guys in any way uh, hesitant to take on this role? Were you, what were your like initial thoughts? Yes, and and uh, and no, I guess I um how to answer that. I was curious about these people. I felt like the tragedy and the people involved were confusing to me. Um, and so I was curious as to understand better what led to a moment like this. And in the same way, I would be curious if we're also fiction, there's a bit less um fear i guess if it's not if it's really happened but i do feel like it was curiosity that was the the reason to explore it um and i and i yeah i was i was curious to try and figure out the the moments that led up to this woman's life when we find her and that lead up and then the moments within the show that lead up to an event where it seems like at any moment, if one thing worked out differently, none of this tragedy would have happened. I don't know if I was hesitant because it was a, a true story. Um, you know, there, there are all, all kinds of true stories that are made into films and television. I mean, I, but I did think about the fact that, you know, these people are still alive and I'm sure they would love it if if people could move on from from this you know it's an incredibly painful traumatic mm -hmm. event but i do think um hopefully and what we did you know it's a story that people can connect to on a human level and yeah what what was really intriguing to me as we went through it and as we filmed was that it's it's really difficult to find a villain in this story that you can place all the blame on. Um, There's just people that were making decisions, doing <laughs> doing the best they could in in these moments, and um, yeah, it led to this tragic event. And the nature of Candy and Alan's relationship, uh, it was an intimate one. How did you guys kind of work together to be comfortable with doing uh, physical stuff with each other on camera? Our characters, you know, had a, they got to get there, right? <laughs> uh, it wasn't like we were in the middle of their intimacy. Like, like I, I honestly find intimacy with married couples a bit more challenging because there has to be such an ease and an, uh, and like a, a different kind of relationship. And we were playing like a getting to know you on camera. Um, and so, so are our characters. And so that was, nice and then and then i think you just there's nothing comfortable or normal about any of the things <laughs> actors have to do, to do but we all i think have had the experiences where you just you try and create as little obstacles as possible and and to ease i hope between human beings and know that there's something else that that there's a story we're trying to tell yeah and i think there was only really one or maybe two scenes at the at the coma where they were actually and not proud. not awkward and yeah, uncomfortable, feeling courageous. you know yeah that we were actually sort of the the peak of of that side of no it almost was like the the most intimate moments were almost like the them being in like the shower or in the bathtub yeah. and those were sweet and funny and playful yeah 